Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here, doing another video for you guys, and this time, uh, I'm very, very tired. Because I was at the toy fair, and, you know, the toy fair is a blast, but at the same time, you talk to a lot of people, it gets a little hot, and my throat hurts, so. Anyways, I got some stuff, we're gonna take a look at that stuff, and quick shout out to Evangelist Danny Dolphin and I Am Amazing Mason, because they were either selling stuff, or they were there, and yeah. So, let's go ahead and start off with the Lego stuff. Uh, I used to get the hockey Lego kind of Technic weird looking things. I know, they look strange, but this is something that I was into. And I lost a lot of the parts, so now I finally got these. I got the blue one, and then I've got one in white and orange. Oh no, the Canucks versus the Oilers. Ooh, if you know, you know. Anyways, moving on, I also did get an Exa Force set. It's one of the later Exa Force sets, but it's one that I didn't have, so I thought, hey, might as well get it. I can't remember the name exactly, but there's the number if you want. You can search it up for yourself. I don't care. Uh, anyways, moving on, we've got mostly Transformers stuff now. So, this is a Minicon team. It's a three pack of C Team Minicon guys based on, you know, C boats and stuff. And uh, this was given to me by Mason. He also threw in some Bionicle parts because he knew, he knows I like Bionicle. So, he threw those in. Anyways, moving on, we also have a Bot Shots. I think this is Ironhide. And he transforms simply by pushing the front, and there he is! And the camera's blurry, but that is Ironhide, and he looks adorable. I kind of missed the bot shots. Uh, also, I decided to get this. So, the guy had it for, I think it was 15 bucks. It is a, I think it's a Botcon exclusive Ravage for Shattered Glass, and it comes with these large missile things that plug onto the side. It's all sparkly and fantastic, so I thought might as well get that. It, it looks kind of cool. Uh, also from Mason, I decided to get two of his customs, so he repainted an Optimus Prime and the Energon Megatron into the unused, cancelled colors from the Energon line. So, yeah, this Optimus has a bunch of white, this Megatron has black and green and yellow, it looks more like one of the Unicrons. I thought that was pretty awesome, so I decided to pick that up. Anyways, moving on, I also did get a G1 Blitzwing, so yes! I do have some G1 stuff. This was 15 bucks. It's a reissue, but still that's pretty cool. I, I'm very happy about it. Some of the stickers are missing or scraped off, but you know, that's stuff I could fix. And I mean, it's Blitzwing. He's heavy too, wow. And he comes with the accessories as well. Also, I finally found Dreadwing. So I've got the Skyquake, never got the Dreadwing. Here's Dreadwing, he's a little weird right now because he's kind of mistransformed. You could definitely see that from the back there, but uh, I mean it's Dreadwing! Finally, I got the guy. And uh, that's one that I'm really excited about. And that leads us into the other Legacy stuff. So Ages 3 and Up usually has a booth. And I managed to get the animated Universe Bumblebee. This is one that I was really excited for. He's super tiny, but you know, that's fine. Because it's Bumblebee. He should be super tiny. Anyways, moving on, I also love the Cybertron line, so I had to get the Legacy United Cybertron Universe Starscream. This one comes with the Cyber Key. I am so excited to open this one up. He looks really cool. Now, this one I didn't get from Ages 3 and Up. This was from another booth, but still, you know, it's in package. I got the Autobot Ratchet. When I was about to grab this thing, it went out of stock everywhere, so I couldn't get it. Now I finally have it. It says $50 on the top there, but I actually managed to get this to $45, so yeah, that's not too bad. And last but not least, my voice just cracked. Don't know what that was about, but I did finally get the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Shockwave, because of course I had to. I got Megatron, I've got Starscream, I got Soundwave, I needed Shockwave. He needed to be made, and here he is, and he looks gorgeous. He definitely looks thick. Yeah, he's got no elbow rotation. You know what? I don't care, because he's Shockwave, he's thick, that's good. Anyways, with that out of the way, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. Thank you to Cherry Bomb Toys and the Victoria's Ultimate Hobby and Toy Fair, and I'll see you guys next time.